A Nigerian police force, like any other civil service office, has over the years embarked on routine redeployment as mandated by its rule books. Within the span of three years, Lagos State has had three CPs, but with the elections just a few weeks away, opposition parties have challenged the redeployment of Mr. Imoimi Edgar to Abuja, and specifically the appointment of Kayodi Egbetokun. My search has shown that the person they brought in to replace the uh, CP in Lagos was a former ADC to Jagaban. Tunubu, who was the former governor of Lagos State. Now, if you look at the two, they seem to be working for the same purpose. To stand up to anybody who wants to mess up the election that is coming up next month. The whole world is watching us, and any attempt to mess up that election will stand up against it. We only hope and pray that the 2019 election at all levels is free and fair in Lagos. There are no reports of toggery, no reports of police involvement in acts of electoral malpractices, and that um, there is a level playing ground for all parties. However, responding to this, the ruling All Progressives Congress has ruled out any foul play. Why is it coming this close to the election? What was the meaning of that? What's the meaning of that? I've just told you that the, the the, the duty to appoint a commissioner of police in any state in Nigeria is domiciled with the police and its commission. It is their duty to do whatever they want. It can, be ha it can, it can happen any time. Is it the first time that you are, you are hearing about police commissioners being transferred? The only reason why you are linking that, why you are talking to me now, is because he has been a CSO that you are the man they appointed. It doesn't matter. The police is an arm of government and commentators say they are expecting it to be neutral. But it remains to be seen how the new police boss will weather the storm in the face of mounting opposition and criticism that trailed his appointment. Wilson Omoni, STV News, Lagos.